Hi folks. One of the most important issues in our world today is the persecution of Christians around the world. Strangely something that the mainstream media in this country barely pick up on, but yet we know that from parts of Africa, particularly West Africa, right the way across sections of the Middle East, and right through to places like North Korea, there is persecution of Christians simply for their faith like never before. It's a really urgent and pressing issue. And for us as Christians, it's actually a family issue. The Bible says we are one body, and when one part hurts, all parts hurt. It's something we need to find out about, something we need to be engaged with. Frankly, sometimes the problem seems so overwhelming it's difficult to know if we can make any kind of contribution to this whole area, which is meaningful and significant. Every year, a few of us go down to Standing Strong, an event that Open Doors run down in Glasgow. And every year what happens at Standing Strong is the Open Doors bring people from persecuted churches around the world to speak to us. They've had people from North Korea who've escaped, people from India, where there's a growing crisis for the church, people from West Africa. And they tell us their stories and their testimonies about how they try and be faithful to Jesus under the most sometimes extreme forms of persecution and opposition. And I expected when I went to these events that it would all be about what I was required to give to them. But what everybody that goes to those events always say is that they draw so much encouragement from the persecuted church. We're often struggling to work out what it means to be Christians in a culture and a society in which we are marginalised. Well, we've got so much to learn from people like Christians in Iran, the fastest growing church in the world, proportionately today, in a country where they are not just marginalised, they are openly persecuted, and yet they have learnt to be faithful when they don't control or dominate culture, but are extremely isolated and on the edges of things. We've got so much to learn. We can draw so much inspiration for those who have stood faithful to Christ in all sorts of circumstances. This year, we can't go down to Glasgow because the restrictions still prevent big events like that really taking place in the normal way. But Open Doors are holding Standing Strong this year online, and they've sent an invitation to us to come. Saturday, 25th of September, all online, and all the details are gonna be in a little film clip, only lasts a minute, which is gonna come on in just a second. The other thing to mention is that for the first time there is a youth event on the Friday, again all online. Please young people join us, come in, tune in online and hear about what's going on in the world today. There is a huge human rights issue in which Christian people are being persecuted and they're calling out to us to find out what's going on and to help them and to engage with them, to pray for them and to learn from them too. Please would you consider joining Open Doors Standing Strong for Youth on the Friday and all the rest of us on the Saturday. And this little film clip tells you more, tells you a little bit more about what it's about and also where to get tickets online. Thanks. I long to see you. So that I may impart some spiritual gift. To make you strong. That is, that you and I may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith. This is the persecuted church, following Jesus in isolation, in secret, and in danger. But together, we are the church, one faith, one hope, one body. In September, join Open Doors Live as we gather online with our persecuted brothers and sisters and pray and worship in churches and homes across the UK and Ireland. Hear their stories firsthand. Be challenged to pray and move to act. Grow your vision of church, deepen your faith and dare to follow Jesus together. Gather together with your church, friends and family and join us online this September.